Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Today, going to do for you twice baked potatoes on the Weber kettle. Yes, you can bake potatoes on the Weber kettle. Now, I think the Weber kettle or any other uh, grill that gets up to a, a high heat does excellent baked potatoes. I've done them many times in the past. Um, I do have a twice baked potato video way back a couple years ago uh, on an air fryer. But this right here is going to be awesome. So uh, what I'm going to do is I got three nice baking potatoes, some russet potatoes. Going to wash them, dry them, oil them up, uh, get them out on the grill. Uh, nice crispy skin, nice soft inside. Then we'll scoop them out, mix them up with some other good stuff, and uh, put them back out on the grill. So stand by, check it out, and we'll be right back after this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is wash the potatoes. When they come from the store, they still have dust on them. Um, if you don't wash them, just take and rub them in cold water. You'll get a little grit. You don't want no grit on your taters. So wash them thoroughly, and then take them over on the cutting board and dry them off. All right, put our taters up here. Now the reason we want these taters nice and dry is because we want this skin to be crispy. Okay? That's the same thing with anything I make. Uh, if I want a crispy exterior skin, you want it dry as you can get it. So we're going to towel dry them with some paper towel. And we'll let them air dry for a few minutes. And then I'll bring you back for the next step. All right, y'all, these taters are nice and dry. So now, I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna put them in a little pan here. And now, the goal is crunchy, nice skin. So we take some olive oil and my spray bottle, but you, if you don't have a spray bottle, just pour a little olive oil on it and, and move it around with your hand and spread it. So we're gonna oil them down both sides. This will help with that skin, get it nice and crunchy. All right, kind of take your hand and spread it around nice, nice, nice. All right, now all you need for this, I'll take some kosher salt, sprinkle it on there, and season the skin nice. Not too much. So it's nice and coated. There we go. So let me clean up here a little bit. Got olive oil over my hands. Good for your skin. So let's go out, get the kettle fired up, and we'll get these taters out. All right, y'all. Once again, we're going to use the slow and sear because we're going to do an indirect, but we want high heat. We don't want the taters sitting right over top of the flame. So large Weber chimney. Got some blue Kingsford. I'm gonna fill it up. All right. Got our charcoal starter. Get that fired up. Come on now. All right. Char charcoal starter's going. Get the chimney on it. About 30 minutes. That charcoal should be ready to go. All right, y'all, it's been about 30 minutes. 
the coals are lit. So we're gonna dump it on in. Got them all this time. Put the grate on. So we'll put the lid on, let this come up to temperature. We'll clean it, get the taters on. All right, so just get the taters on. I think about halfway across the grate, halfway between the coals and the edge. Put the lid on. Now I'm putting the vent opposite the meat because I got my thermometer on this side. So I want to be able to see what the temperature is over the food. So this should take, I don't know, probably about 45 minutes or so to get these taters fully baked. So I'm gonna come out here in 30 minutes and rotate the taters and we'll go from there. All right, y'all, it's been about 30 minutes. A little temperature gauge here says close to 500. Let's see what we got. Handle's hot. All right. So we're gonna take and turn these potatoes around. Yeah, they're getting there. Oops, hot, hot. All right, I'd say another 30 minutes, this is gonna be done, if that. And actually, I'll go set my alarm for about 20 minutes and come check on them again. All right, y'all, it's been another 20 minutes. Let's see what we got here. So, Taters are looking good. Give them a little, oh yeah, they're done. So when they start, when they got a little give to them, they're done. So let's get these. So what I want to do to make sure these are done, take a toothpick. It should go in nice and smooth. Oh yeah, these are done. You don't want to get them overdone. The skin's nice and crunchy. The inside's nice and soft. There you go, baked taters. So let's take these inside and uh, get these set up for the next step. All right, y'all, while these taters are still hot, you're gonna need a glove for this, because this is hot. You need to cut them in half. All the way around. Just like that. Set them aside. Get your nice tablespoon and dig the meat out. Now you want to leave a little bit of the potato inside the skin, but you don't want to bust through. Okay, that little, little bit of potato inside the skin will give it some structure to hold it together. There you go. All right, last one. You can see the steam still coming off of here. So you want these nice and hot. And I'll show you why. So there you go. That's the last of them. So we got this nice potato right here. We'll give it a little mash. Don't want to mash it a whole lot. Now, so we're going to want a little bit of salt, say about a teaspoon and a half maybe, some fresh, whoop, I think I can get these gloves off now, makes uh, everything slippery. Some black pepper. 
to your taste. I like a lot. All right. Reach over here and get some butter. Everything's better with butter. Shoot, I'm going to put, I don't know, half a stick. Maybe a little more. There we go. All right, give this a turn. See, now these taters being hot will melt this butter. So that's why one of the reasons you want this tater hot. So let's give this a good mix. Get this butter worked in, get it melted. So basically what you're gonna put in this is everything you'd put on a baked potato. So, butter. Now, We'll do a dollop of daisy, sour cream, on in. Maybe quarter cup, a little more maybe. Give it a mix. All right, got some nice Sharp cheddar cheese are grated. Put a couple handfuls in there. We're gonna save some for the tops of the taters. All right. Give that a mix. All right. Now I got some green onions, whites and green, part both. Gonna put a couple of good tablespoons in there. Gotta have that green onion in there. Another mix. All right, that's about it. All right, we get coordinated here. Fill these taters up. Push that stuff all the way down in there. All right. So we'll get all these taters filled and I'll bring you right back. All right, nice, nice. All right, once you got these taters filled up, put a little bit of extra cheese on top. Just however much you got, put it on up there. Then, I took and uh, cut some green onions into some strips here. So, just a little fancy decoration on top. You ain't got to do this, but I like to do it. I like lots of green onions on these taters now. Good stuff. So there you go. So from this point here, I mean, you could put these in the fridge and cook them the rest of the way tomorrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw some steaks on. That's gonna be another video. 
And before the steaks are done, I'll put these back out there. So next time you see these taters, I'll have them out there on back on the grill. All right, guys, twice baked potatoes ready to go back on the grill. So this shouldn't take too long. Get them over here, way back away from that heat source. All right, we just wanna let them heat through and melt all that cheese. That shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes. So we'll bring you back when that's ready. All right, y'all. Oh yeah, these taters are ready. So let me go ahead and take them on off of here. Beautiful. All right. So, let's get these on in the house and try them out. There you go, y'all. Twice baked potatoes on the Weber kettle. Only one thing left for these, my mouth. <laughs> All right, y'all, here you go. Twice baked potatoes on the Weber kettle. So what I like to do is just cut a big chunk off like that. See the inside's nice and warm. Looking good. Only one thing left for this. All right, y'all, here we go. Twice baked potatoes. We see we baked them on out on the Weber kettle. Uh, we washed them, oiled them up with olive oil, put some kosher salt on them, put them out there for about 45 minutes at a uh, high temperature, about 400, 450. Scooped it out, put some cream cheese, some cheese, butter, salt, pepper, green onions, and there we go. Little cheese and onion on top. So the skin's nice and crunchy, nice and crispy. And the inside's nice and creamy. So you ready? Taste. <laughs> Here we go. Mm mm mm. Can't eat these in a hurry. Rich, like an onion, little mellow onion taste in there. The cheese, man, that's a winner right there, y'all. All outside on the Weber kettle. That Weber kettle is a real versatile cooker. You can do anything with that thing. So anyway, it's dinner time. Got some ribeyes back there. That's another video. Got some twice baked potatoes. Everybody's ready to eat, so. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And if you got any comments or questions, leave them below. And hit that subscribe button. Don't cost a penny. <laughs> appreciate it. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you next time. <laughs>